So we promised Chuck Farley. There we go. We're still sharing the screen. Perfect. It's good to meet you for the first time too. So you just let me know whenever you're you're ready, Stephen. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. You ready? Ready? ready. Go count me in. Hey y'all, it's your boy Chuck Farley with. Mess that up a little bit. Hey man, how's it going? And that's how I met him the first time. Why is my screen sharing paused? It's good to meet you for the first time too. Why does it say resume share? This is bizarre. My screen sharing's acting up. Oh, I know why. So let's let's stop and then start again. Unbelievable. It's amateur hour with you, Stephen. It always is. Now let's find that video again. Is that it? There we go. Okay. So you just let me know whenever you're you're ready, Stephen. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. You ready? Ready? Go count me in. Hey, y'all, it's your boy Chuck Farley with I Love Rand Paul. I know it has been a while since you've seen me. I've been recruited to be on uh, the PAA podcast in order to update you on some Rand Paul stuff and just to, just to dust me off out of the closet, which is nice. Some people remember. But Senator Rand Paul, as I may have told y'all before, is always playing several steps ahead and and I believe that he is uh, lining himself up he, he was uh, he was good with the administration there with the, the the Trump administration but also adversarial at times and now he has uh, pushed back against uh, a few things that are setting him up for a 2024 presidential or vice presidential bid he has ingratiated himself to to many sides and, and will unite and bring in the, the, the Paul people, the Rand Paul faction. This from NBC News. Senator Rand Paul, Republican of Kentucky, compared gender-affirming surgery to genital mutilation during confirmation hearings Thursday for Dr. Rachel Levine, President Joe Biden's nominee for Assistant Secretary of Health. If approved, Levine will become the first openly transgender federal official to be confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Paul, a former ophthalmologist, he's not a former, I do believe he still performs ophthalmology surgeries for free because he is not allowed to perform them for money. I believe he goes to, still goes to Guatemala. I may have to follow up on that. He cared very much for children and their eyesight. So erroneously claiming that Levine supports surgical destruction of a minor's genitalia, Paul asked Levine if she believed minors were capable of making such a life-changing decision as changing one's sex. Levine, a pediatrician, responded that transgender medicine is a very complex and nuanced field with robust research and standards of care that have been developed and promised to discuss specifics if she is confirmed. Uh, I remember watching video of this and she kind of got after Ron Paul, or Rand Paul rather for, for uh, saying that, you know, she was telling him like, I'll take you out to the woodshed boy and, and, and teach you how to be a real doctor. He's got some stones, man. He's an ophthalmologist calling out a pediatrician about whether or not kids should be mutilating their junk skis. But uh, way to stay relevant, Randall. And I think you encapsulate a lot of people's opinions on that that may not be so popular to say. Then got this one from, uh, where is this from? CBS News. Dr. Anthony Fauci told CBS this morning on Friday that Senator Paul is dead wrong after the two had a fierce face off about mask wearing in a Senate hearing. Fauci argues that Americans should continue to wear masks even after they are vaccinated against COVID-19, something Paul dismissed as theater. Senator Paul has this mess. All right. So anyway, again, stirring it up with Dr. Fauci. Uh, Dr. Randall Paul has the balls to call out Dr. Fauci on COVID and, and Dr. Rachel Levine on uh, gender uh, mutilation, genital mutilation, and uh, I couldn't be happier because about time somebody takes the other side of them things and stands up so as always i love Rand paul you can hit me up on twitter at i love Rand paul i'm gonna post part of this video probably on my youtube channel you can find me i'm at chuck farley at i love Rand paul thanks for uh steven for calling me and and having me out here man having me uh 
having me get back in the game, I guess. Maybe it's time for, for old Randall to get back in and it's time for old Chuck to step back up too. Thank you, fellas. Y'all have a good That was cool. <clears throat> Chuck's an old uh he's an old fan of Rand Paul, started his own little thing. Hadn't seen any content out of him in a while, but it looks like he gave us uh gave Steven access to his Facebook page and we started putting our videos there and and then uh he finally recorded something for us. So hopefully uh hopefully Chuck will come back with more Rand Paul updates, I suppose.